Hello everyone, this is Bruce Hi. and I'm Amarina and today we're doing pretty cool experiments so stick with us till the end and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and always supervise your children. Hi. For this pretty colorful experiment we'll need baking soda, oil, citric acid and food coloring. So we are mixing one teaspoon of baking soda with one teaspoon of citric acid mixing together and then pouring into the oil and then Bruce is gonna help with bless you with food coloring just pour a few drops Good job, that's enough. We're gonna stir it and we're gonna pour it into this mixture. More, 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 more. I said more. And we're gonna stir it a little bit. I don't want to. I get wet then. I have to change my shoe. I get very wet. For this experiment, we'll need a plastic bag, some water, and a few pencils, and they can be sharp or blunt. So now we're gonna poke this bag with these three pencils. And we, got, we can do it from both sides. And no water leak. And why there is no water leak? Because plastic is made out of the molecules that are flexible and tough. And plastic hugs around the pencils, creating watertight seal that prevents leaks. But now let's see what's gonna happen when we're gonna take all these pencils out. And there's a big leak. Oops. Oops, and we're gonna get these big pencils out. There you go, and here's another one. There you go. And for this cool experiment, we'll need a hand sanitizer, thread, and two cotton pads. We're gonna fold these two cotton pads together and secure it with a thread making a ball. And saturate it with hand sanitizer, spreading it equal all over this bowl. And we're gonna go and light up and see how it looks in the dark. Because hand sanitizer consists of alcohol and water, water keeps your hands hydrated enough so you don't get burned. And this fire called low temperature fire but only adults can play with this pretty cool fireball. In this fun experiment, we're gonna see how you can use balloon to separate pepper from salt. We'll need one teaspoon of salt and we're gonna spread it around and some pepper. And then we're gonna take a balloon and a towel and create static electricity. And we got the paper. Yay! For this experiment, we'll need jar with water, one gauze, and we can use a hair tie or rubber band. We're gonna cover the top of the jar with this gauze and Bruce is gonna help me to secure it with hair tie. Good job. And now I'm gonna flip it over. 
And why the water is not leaking through these gauze? It's because the result of the air pressure from air all around us that helps water from being able to leak through the gauze. If you like our video, please give us a like. And if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to our channel. And we're going to be seeing you soon. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha!